All right, so we're back in Islands for the Halloween update. And if you thought I quit this game, you're wrong. I still play it. I just haven't played it lately. I mean, we've been waiting for an update and we finally have one. So I'm back in it. And if you're wondering what happened to my head, well, this is my Halloween limited UGC that you can buy right now. If you want to get it before it runs out, definitely head over to the link in the description. You can pick one up. So today I'm going to show you how to do this. It is a little tricky, but it's not tricky once you know how to do it. Okay. So first up, you do have the hooded figure here. Um, anytime they do events, if you didn't know this, you always want to head over to the info board here and run up to it. And that's how you search your game. There's also typically a NPC that you can buy stuff from. And lately they've been doing it this way. So it's just a lot easier for them to put out uh, events, you know, because they, you know, can reuse code instead of having to write stuff new every single time. So what you want to do is you want to come up here, click on redeem. And assuming you have tickets, I have 260 Haunted Mansion event tickets. You can redeem your stuff here. The two items you're going to be going for are are going to be these two this is the wraith boss plushie and this is kind of like a little mini version of the boss and then you can also get the cat egg and this is really the priority you should be going after is at least get 750 haunted mansion event tickets and you will get a cat pet which looks really cool it is the image in my thumbnail that's what we're grinding for and of course after that you want to go for the wraith boss plushie also um before we jump into the actual experience if you go over to achievements and you go down to events you're going to notice down here there are three new achievements you can do so it's the wicked wraith you got to kill the wraith boss 20 times that'll make sense pretty soon i've done seven of them they're pretty quick it's honestly not that hard to do it's this is easier if you remember the um last mushroom obby it's way easier this one is way 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 easier way faster to grind so don't worry about that too bad so you're gonna get 150 tickets for doing that 20 times and of course each time you do it i think it's like 30 tickets no 20 20 or 30 tickets something like that we'll, we'll get into it in a little bit and right here a spooky collection you have to collect both the wraith plus and pet egg event items it looks like this one requires you to do three of them which i'm not really sure why i'd want three of them but if you do three of those and then at least one cat pet egg uh pet spawn egg and that is a pet by the way it looks really cool then you get 250 tickets on top of that so and i don't know that it's worth doing this one but i i want the ap so of course i'm going to do it and then at the bottom here you have to participate in the haunted mansion event 25 times that's a lot of grinding i don't know if you have to complete it though like i don't know if you know if you go in and just leave if that'll just complete i'm not sure but you, someone tell me in the comments below does that work or do you have to actually complete it all right let's jump into this um also you could do up to four player um parties by the way all right so you're gonna be teleported to the haunted mansion and what you want to do is you just cross over this bridge head to the right and you're going to wait for this green gate to go down so as soon as the gate opens just come over here to this other gate you're going to find the hooded figure same guy that you buy stuff from and then um, just say okay to him. He's going to give you a stone shovel, which you can equip here. You're going to run back to the cemetery at the start. So you need to come over here. You just need to dig these little dirt mounds. And you're looking for his heirloom. So just, it shouldn't take many. I usually get in like two tries. There's three. Of course, this time I say that and it's going to take a lot longer. After you get this heirloom, you're going to run back to, um, there we go. We got it. We're going to run back to the hooded guy and anyone can complete these steps, by the way. So your entire team can interact with um, completion of puzzles. So like if you want to, you can just talk to the hooded guy. Then someone else can go back there, dig for it. And then you're going to have the same item. So you see someone just um, talk to him and um, completed that step. But basically someone else can complete it for you. So that's why that happened. So just come this way. Um, you don't need your shovel anymore. You can put that away. You do need your pickaxe. Um, you don't really need the lantern unless you can't really see very well. I can see perfect fine on my monitor but you could use this just for um basically a, a flashlight if you have a dark device or something um also if you don't see the uh ruby sword check your inventory it's in there you only get two weapons but you're going to come over here to the basement so you're going to enter the mansion through there and you can see there's three items we need to find unidentified potion there's a cursed book and there's an iridescent flower so what you want to do for the um first one is you come up here and you enter this room and you're going to see a bunch of candles right these are all the different candles that you need to light but you don't need to light all of them them. see this right here this potion is the unidentified potion and in order to be able to complete this you need to light only specific candles and what you're going to see is there's these gold notes throughout the map and right here this one shows that the candle is not lit and that is pink so you'd want to make sure that is not lit and then over here this one shows um yellow should be lit so you're going to come over here light yellow now you just need to go into uh there's two more rooms you need to go into but let's also go down here for this note it needs gray lit so we need to light up gray so let's come up here light that up and let's go into the other rooms there's two more rooms there's one down here on the right which has the um little horse rocker 
And so let's go ahead and get that. So this shows uh, orange. And then there's another note down here and this shows green is turned off. Yes, there's more items in here, but we're not gonna focus on that. So um, green is off and orange is lit. So that's orange. And then we got another room over here we need to go into and there's another, we're just looking for all the gold. Don't get overwhelmed by anything else. Just focus on these for now. And so red is lit and that's the only note in here. So red needs to be lit. It looks like we're missing just one more. And the final one was blue here. I had a, I, had a, I kinda had to guess it. Once you get them all right, um, usually there's just one more. Like if you can't find the one, just toggle them real quick and then you're, you're gonna get it right. It's not that big of a deal. So collect that. And then the next one we're gonna need to get is going to be over here. And where you're gonna want is the pickaxe. And this is past the spooky rocking horse that there's an invisible child rocking on. So come over here, pick up the iridescent flower. After that, you're gonna come back over here towards the library. And then all you gotta do is face these so that they're facing the right way. The medallions on their, um, their necklaces, their charms should be facing you as they should. So they should be facing towards the center. I mean, proper display, how they should be displayed, right? There we go. And then there's one right there. And now you open this back room. This is actually our missing note here. So you probably wanna complete the book, the cursed book, this room first. That'd probably be a good idea. Now you got the cursed book. And so we have all of the ingredients. Now what we need to do is come back over here towards the candle room in the middle, just up, you know, above the stairs, dump all that inside the cauldron here. And then now it's just gonna light up and it says find and defeat the cursed wraith. So come down here. So we come over here. Now we need to defeat the cursed wraith. And um, typically speaking, you don't have to do the order that I showed you. It was just kind of, I was hoping to show you like the order of the gold notes. But all you gotta do is, um, just do all that combination of things. It doesn't, like I said, have to be in order. Although it kind of seems like you have to do the cursed book all the time because yeah, that gold note is in there. So maybe just start with the cursed book first. Now with this boss, um, he will spawn like duplicates of himself. And also um, just like the other events uh, or even the void, you need to avoid this toxic um, gas. You will take damage if you go into it. Like it's not that bad if you can handle the, you know, the damage, but it's kind of bad. Also after a little bit, he's going to, um, he's going to spawn some duplicates. So there's this duplicate. So he's got like little helpers. And so you're just going to kill those and he's going to respawn again. Here's his main character. It, he does this a couple times, like two or three times. Just don't stay in the gas like I am, you know? Probably a good idea. So the um, cat is 750. Uh, that's a lot of grinding. Um, we are going to try to get that cat. Dude, I think we got him. I think we got him. I'll, I'll, I'll last it. Yeah. Okay. So after that, it's going to ask you to go and throw this thing into the fireplace. And then you get, yeah, it is 20 tickets. So you get your 20 tickets. Shout out to Squid, Just Neely, and Butter over here for helping out, by the way. They were so kind to let me just do the entire quest to show you the tutorial. But that is the walkthrough. Yes, you're in a DV vid. Yes, yes, yes. So now that you know how to do it, I'm just going to run through it one more time. Just so you know what to do. Like I said, you're going to come over here to the green. So we're going to go this way and we just need to talk to the mysterious hooded figure. Dude, how are they so fast? Dude. They run so fast. They're seriously fast. They zoomed right by me. Look at it. They're pulling away from me, dude. For real, the avatar. Oh, they're not using an animation? No, they pulled away from me, dude. All right, so we just need to check the gold notes. Uh, orange is lit. We're gonna go back over here. We're just gonna complete this thing first. So go into the library, switch these around. That's pretty easy. Yellow is lit, orange is lit. Yellow and orange and then pink's off. Nice, that was quick. That is, I think this might be a speed run. They're fast. Dude, look how fast they are. This is insane. I think their avatar might actually be giving you a speed advantage. I will show you their avatar just in case someone in the comments below wants to like do an experiment. Dude, that was fast. Here, I'm gonna show you the avatar because I'm curious. So they got like a raccoon bundle and they don't have any animations. That's wild. All right, so the spell book looks like it's doing about 30, 28 to 35 damage for me. And then if I use the sword, it's doing 45 to 62 damage. This seems to be doing the most damage. It looks like it's still, yeah, it's doing even more damage. Oh my gosh, he's doing way more damage for his like minions. Like 78 to like 100 and something. 108 damage. That's pretty impressive. Now, if you do die, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what happens when you die. 
And by the way, um, if you don't subscribe to my islands channel, definitely do so. I will be doing a follow up video. Yeah, here we go. We should be responding in the hallway. Um, definitely subscribe to that uh, DV Plays Islands channel because I will be doing a follow up video, getting all the best items in the game, give you some tips as I learn them. Because right now I only have some basic tips for you, but I might have some other tips for you later once I've had a chance to really grind it. You know, because I've only done eight runs so far, and this is my ninth run. We're gonna buy the DV skull when I have more robux. That's cool. Good idea. We got it. Oh, this time we got 40 tickets. So it could range between 20 tickets and 40. My assumption is it's based on how much damage you're doing though. It must be a performance-based thing. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Anyway, let me know what you think of this update in the comments below. I know some people were a little bummed. I will tell you right now that the devs are going to be adding more items. So don't worry. I also recommended the flower inside the glass, the you know, the glass glowing flower is really cool. I think that should be an item that you can get. I don't know if they're gonna do that, but that would be really cool. Um, also the current First book looks really cool. I think that should be like a spell book or something that maybe you can get because that'd be really cool as well. But I don't know. You know, maybe they'll do it. Maybe they won't. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next vid. Oh man, we got 320. We got so much more to do. Peace.